Among the more unusual long-time residents of Honolulu are a group of penguins staying at the Hilton Hawaiian Village Waikiki Beach Resort. When we went to investigate, we found a small menagerie being fed and cared for by University of Hawaii at Manoa alumni Lisa Goya Nishikawa and Kevin Murata. Hello, my name is Kevin Murata. I work here at the Hilton Hawaiian Village as a wildlife attendant. I take care of all the animals on property. My degree consists of an animal science degree, which is basically a Bachelor of Science from the College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Kevin introduced us to the property's inhabitants, including parrots, flamingos, a swan, herons, freshwater fish, and finally, the famous penguins. Contrary to what many people first think, these penguins don't long for ice and snow. They're black-footed penguins, native to the southern shorelines of Africa. They're also called jackass penguins for their noisy bray. Well, much of our job involves the penguins. They are what you would call a physically intensive species where we have to take a lot of care for them. Um, scientific name would be Sphiniscus demersus. So here at the exhibit, we have six females and two males. Penguins are carnivores and eat mostly fish, which at the Hilton comes frozen in large boxes that must be carefully thawed and sorted in order to monitor how much each penguin is eating. Here at the Hilton, they get room service twice a day. <laughs> and we're laughing, but it truly is room service. It's twice a day, and we give them as much as they want to eat. Because on a day-to-day -day basis, we get to know them very well, and hopefully, through that knowledge, we can tell basically how they're doing. I mean, it does involve us coming out at least three times a day to clean the exhibit. You know, you want to keep it nice and clean because the smell does, does tend to emanate. I mean, let me put it this way. They're prolific defecators. That's a nice way to put it. Black-footed penguins can live 25 to 30 years in captivity, or about half that in the wild. The eight penguins at the Hilton range from 2 to 25 years old. When we visited, a couple of them looked a little scruffy, but Kevin explained that that was a completely natural yearly process called molting. Okay, for penguins, what happens during the molting process is they'll actually change out their feathers. It is broken up into two parts. The first part will be a pre-molt, which they pretty much almost double in weight. And after that point, when they've actually built up those fat reserves, then they'll start to actually lose their feathers or go through their actual molt process. And what that involves is the newer feathers start to push out and push out the old feathers. I mean, to be honest, they just look like they're having a bad hair day. And in fact, it's actually very healthy for them to molt once a year. Animal and guest safety is a priority for the workers. But for Kevin, the most rewarding part of the job is doing encounters with young guests. Yeah, I've been doing this for a very long time. And you know, it's one thing to watch a video, but it's different when you actually connect with a child and actually have them actually literally touch a penguin for the first time. Unfortunately, when it comes to a lot of our education nowadays, a lot of it's focused on math and reading, but science sort of gets put in the background, especially when it comes to animal science and things like that. You know, more people can distinguish between a make and model of a car versus a bird they see on the street. So, I mean, it is good to try and educate children. I mean, that, that's sort of our key goal here. This has been a production of the University of Hawaii Malama Lama Magazine.